Alright guys, time for an update. So you remember when I went to Alabama and we got all that sealed media stuff? Well, we picked out two in particular to get graded and they have come back. So we picked out Star Wars on VHS and Indiana Jones on Beta. And coming up, I go over the whole process that I took to actually get them graded, my whole thought process behind that. And the best part, we go over the unboxing of these where you guys actually get to see in real time what these things got. So stay tuned. Alright guys, so in our past video I mentioned that I wanted to get two of these Actually, I wanted to get six of them graded, but I'm going to send two of them in on like the emergency grading right here. So this is going to be a pretty big investment on our part, but I think it's going to be worth it for these two. The other ones, the other four, I'll just wait, you know, 45 days to get those back. But I wanted to have something to show you guys fairly quickly. So the two I'm going to get graded is a beta copy of Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. You guys saw that in our video. Right here, this is a sealed beta of Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. There's one that is sold on eBay just like this for $800, and I didn't find any graded copies, so I'm hoping graded this will get us a few hundred more. This one I know for sure is factory sealed, and there's six results that have sold within the past 90 days. I've got these listed um, from highest to lowest, so I don't know what this offer was um, that this one sold for, but it's more than $460. I know that because it's showing up first. So I'm thinking since we have like maybe a dollar into these things, even if I spent $200 to get it graded quickly, I can at least double my money because I'm, my reasoning is that this one sold for $460, not graded and not, you know, encapsulated. I'm hoping that the investment will maybe not double on this one, but hopefully, you know, increase it by more than the $215 it's going to cost me to get this thing graded. The other one we have here, I'll show you guys this one. Probably the best find for today was this Star Wars sealed VHS tape. Some of these have sold for thousands recently on eBay. So this is the first Star Wars, could be thousands of dollars. And this will be the one that we definitely get graded. All right, so the other one we have here is the Star Wars first, you know, first movie they put out, uh, VHS that is brand new, factory sealed. So you guys saw this one as well, where I kind of went over details you know it does have the watermark on it and all that stuff so we've got these two copies here which kind of had me a little um, skeptical five thousand dollars and you know somewhere around forty five hundred dollars for ungraded copies seems a little steep I don't know but I have a feeling that these were not paid for um, because there are two graded copies down here a VGA 80 and an IGS um, 8.5 that sold for both of them right around $1,300. So I'm not going to get my hopes up that we're going to get $5,000 out of this. Um, but like I said, we've got like a dollar into this. Even if I did spend, you know, $250 that are about to get this graded, I think that's a huge profit to be made on this by getting it graded. And like I said, I've never gotten anything graded before, so this is all going to be new to us. But what I did was just typed in VHS grading. There's a couple, there's two different that I found. IGS is the only one that's taking new submissions right now so basically all you do you go on their website you have to print off this contract right here you fill it out the pdf you print it you put it in your box you ship it it has to be insured it has to have tracking and it has to have you know this adult signature required when you um, go through there and i'm probably gonna go through um, pirate ship for that so and then the third step is you have to pay for it and then once you pay for it you send it and apparently right now they're waiting time for the emergency um, tier is only five days, so factor in a couple days of shipping time. I should have something back within two weeks at the most. Um, I have heard some other people saying that there's, you know, a backlog of a couple days, or then you know a couple days turns into a week or whatever. So I am hopeful that that will be the case. That we'll get it back pretty quickly because I really want to update you guys because, like I said, this is probably um, a couple of the best, the absolute best things that I pulled out of that place. A sealed Star Wars. VHS, that's pretty awesome. So, like I said, once I get something back, I will update you guys. Alright guys, so here it is. This is our two beta tapes. This is Indiana Jones and Star Wars. These just got back yesterday from IGS. We sent these out on the 30th. We got back on the 17th, so that's an 18-day turnaround time. We paid up for the five-day service, which was accurate. It took five days, but it also took like a week to get here, UPS ground from LA. So. Um, we paid two fifteen dollars each, so $430 for the whole thing to get these on their emergency grading tier. So let's see what we got. So first thing they have, I guess this is an insurance valuation for $1,600 on there, so that's a good sign. So now, before I open this, I have no 
previous experience with doing grading on anything. The only time I've ever even seen it or heard of it is when Chase after the right price did it. He's never done anything with VHS that I'm aware of, so this is gonna be the first for us. I do kind of know what to expect as far as grading. So we got some paint sticks, sweet. We can reuse those. <laughs> um, I guess that's the bottom display pieces, so break this one open. Nice. Alright, let's see what we got here. So, alright, that's really cool. And I like their presentation, that's nice. So we got an 8.5 mint near mint. So mint box, near mint seal, first print, Indiana Jones, Temple of Doom, beta. That is awesome. That makes me really happy. I think a nine, 9.5 is pretty hard to get. Um, I can see, you know, we knew about that when we sent it in. It had, it definitely wasn't mint, but uh, seeing how old these things are, it's kind of incredible that something like this would still be factory sealed. And like I said, you know, you still have the, the watermarks on here. It's a good thing to look for. That is really cool to see it in that box. So that's really cool that we opened this one first because I think this one is the lesser valuable of the two. So let's see what the Star Wars one got. Let's see. All right. Oh man, that is awesome. This one got an even better score. Check that out. Nine for the box and nine for the seal. Mint and mint. So double VHS CPC, I think that refers to down here. White CBS Fox watermark, which is gonna be this across the bottom. Shiny guard, I'm not sure what that is. DM, I don't know what that is either. That's awesome. I think this is going to be worth a couple thousand dollars, guys. I'm like so excited right now. This is so cool. <laughs> I was not expecting that because, I mean, you can see these little pinholes here in the seal. So I'm kind of surprised that this got a mint, a 9.0 for, uh, for the seal. That's cool. And I was kind of worried about this. I wasn't sure if that was... Some of the ones that had sold previously had one barcode on the bottom and it kind of had me worried like maybe this was a reseal, but you've got the uh, the watermark there. so. It's pretty confident. That's why we decided to spring the $430 for these. These might go past eBay, guys. I think I might try to see if any auction houses might be interested in these because from what I'm seeing right now, the VHS and beta market on these things, sealed, graded, is really, really taking off. I think we're in the early stages of this, so I think I'm going to jump on that and try to get these into an auction and we'll see how that goes. But overall, really excited. I think it's money well spent. So $430 into these, I think we've got easily a couple thousand dollars in uh, just these two tapes. So that alone will pay for the whole trip for everything we've got. So thank you guys, we'll see you again. All right, so wasn't awesome. These things got such high grades, I was totally not expecting that, especially on the Indiana Jones. That one had some visible damage on it that you could tell. So I was not expecting that. I think that is going to be awesome for the resale value. So you saw what these things typically do on eBay. These things got such good grades that I think we're gonna go the auction route. I've already been in contact with Comic Connect. They wanna put it in their next um, auction, which is in August, September. They also have a VHS right now of Star Wars going. It has a week left and it's already at $20,000. Granted, it's the first edition. We have the second edition. So I'm not sure what it's gonna do, but I'm expecting really, really good results. And of course, we're gonna take you guys along for that. So make sure you guys stay tuned, like, and subscribe. So thank you guys, stay tuned.